Yes, everybody, everybody, wake up. Wake up, get out of the house. Keep holding that youngster. Go here. Where's Seth? He's coming, okay. Everyone? All right, let me do an intro. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of our Sims 2 Astro Legacy Challenge. I've got the family filed out here on the side of the road because I am about to overhaul our house. I'm Ham Pennington, here to give the Astro Legacy Mansion an extreme home makeover today. Uh, so I'm excited. I Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to make the cats move. They're asleep in their respective areas. Um, I wonder if I turn move objects on. Can I move the cats while they're sleeping? Yes, I can. Okay. We're going to temporarily move the cats out to the front. Normally, we do not use cheats here on the Astro Legacy Challenge. This is just for the sake of me getting everyone out of the house faster. Look. Look at our cats. Asleep. They don't know. They don't know what's going on. They're, they're not any the wiser that I'm trying to redo the house right now. But yeah, uh, I'll put them back when we're done. What I'm going to go ahead and do is talk you guys kind of through my, my thought processes as we go. But let me know if you prefer a speed build type situation where like I just kind of show you what I did or if you'd rather me just like skip ahead past the building and just show you what I did afterward. I don't know how boring watching building is or like we don't need to know what your stupid thought process was while you're building the house. Um, I got a little bit behind on my editing schedule and uh, so I was able to see more of your comments like more recently. I don't I don't know how to say this. Fuck this. Just cut this part out. I don't know. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get started. I think what I'm going to do first, I'm going to save some of the furniture I feel like we can still use. So I'm going to put it over here, but I'm going to start redoing sections of the house. Um, I feel like I got to make sure we keep all of our like pictures and stuff like that that are um, sentimental. I am going to take this wall out. Open this up. I think that actually makes this weird little diagonal part that I'm so insistent on keeping work better because it's a little more open and easier to walk through. And then, well, we can keep the, the piano because that's bougie and I really feel like the Capricorn generation should be bougie. Ooh, ooh, um, I noticed while editing that GameSyn Grounds, the, um, the community lot that we bought, I think that that is a cemetery. So I'm very excited. If we don't get to it today, we're going to do it in maybe the next episode, um, going and visiting games and grounds and getting an idea for what we can do with the cemetery of town. Is that not so perfect? I felt like that was such a like perfect community lot for our Capricorn um, matriarch to own the cemetery of town. I just thought that was great. Okay. So we're opening this up. <clears throat> so as we saw, um, let's, let's see, let's see. I was thinking too, I might want to move the yard. I don't know if I still want the yard on the side of the house like it's been, but I want to make sure we keep the, the tree because like I said, oh my God, there's Ramses. What's stupid is Ramses and Sierra had full, full lives. Oh my God. Whoa. Hold on. Oh, I can see her ponytail through her face. Ramses, you look f whack. Um, they had full lives, full happy lives. And I feel like they're always angry and haunting us anyway and i'm so worried about them killing one of our family sims um or one of our our current family's sims so i don't know what to do about that i'm, I'm considering moving them to game sim grounds but i also feel like there's a lot of glitches that can happen when you like displace gravestones and stuff i don't know i'll look it up i'll see for now we're just keeping that in mind and i'm going to keep all of my sims needs kind of high so that if the ghosts ever try to betray us they won't kill our sims i have this whole time been very um i feel like adamant about having like kind of a light blue or like blue like cool tinted gray for grizabella i feel like that's her color that's what i associate with her and the capricorn generation so i'm gonna kind of try to find those tones I'm going to change the front of the house too. Let's take away the front door. That is perfect. It matches. Okay. That's great. That's great. Okay. So then I was thinking from that steam Tam's from that steam Tam's suggestion of locking away the trash can, bringing it out here in front of the front. And then we need to build a fence, obviously. 
Um, so let's, let, should we need more privacy. We have privacy in the backyard right now, but I think that I want to destroy this backyard and I want to redo it. Okay, so I'm thinking about making this the front. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna get the furniture figured out after I get the shell of the house kind of reconfigured. So give, have some patience with me there. Okay, let's get the door. I feel like all of these houses looked kind of expensive. Ooh, oh my God, this is so like Madarame. This is Madarame's dungeon. Madarame's palace, you guys. Um, ooh, the blue. Ooh, okay, maybe the red though. That's pretty cool. I like that. And then, um, so what I'm thinking of is putting a fence around the front here, a big privacy fence, because we're rich and we need protection now. We're going up in the world. Ooh, oh my God, there's some very fancy things. We don't have a ton of money, so I need to be careful. Let's do like this. This reminds me of like Stuart Little's rich ass house. Oh, the Sims are in the way. Okay, hold on. Oh my God, check that out. That's awesome. Hold on, is there like a white version? Ooh, let's do that. And then the one to lead outside needs to be smaller. Something like that. And then um, for now, I'm thinking about putting the backyard like back here. So we'll do it like this. I'm gonna use up all my money. We don't have a ton of money, so I need to be careful. Okay, for now, let's just lock up the house itself like this. And we'll just have a front yard area. We'll just have like this front area till I have more money and we can expand to the backyard again. So we'll put the stuff that, oh my God, I just probably fucked ourselves. Hold on. We'll come back to this. We'll figure this out. <laughs> Work with what you have. Work with what you have. Okay, okay, okay. We got this, we got this. It's fine. We only have a thousand dollars, but it's fine. We have some furniture. We, we just need to build. And I'm gonna put stairs and see how expensive that's gonna be. Okay, let's do a white staircase with this redwood stairs. I like that. Oh shit. Oh shit, you guys. Oh God. Okay, well, I did this to myself because I was like, let's redo the house like crazy right now without even looking at the funds. So let me just put on my clown makeup and move all of these things back into the house. And we'll just, I guess, be in renovation mode for a second um, while I... <laughs> Okay, one thing I think I'm gonna do to make some more money again is take away this. Um, we don't need a car right now. Um, God, I can't believe I did this. Okay, I don't wanna get rid of a lot of the stuff too because Grizabella's bougie. <sighs> is it the white wood? It, it, no, it's the brick fence that I insisted on putting out front. That's, what's, that's what overdid it. <laughs> uh, then we're gonna, and then we're gonna do the house. I. You know, I say, I say, guys, we're going to do this. We're going to do this plan today. And then, and then we don't. Well, okay, hold on. Maybe, maybe we wait a second before closing off the house then. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I still love that idea though. We will do that. Um, just know that, so that was a little sneak preview of what we're going to do later. <laughs> Everyone wipe the sweat off your brow. It's okay. I did decide to do the better thing. And then for now, keeping it cheap, we're going to do a small children's bedroom. We're going to do a small bathroom up here. Let's do both the children's bedrooms up here. So I want this to be one of the bedrooms. I want this to be the bathroom. And I want this to be one of the bedrooms. And then I want this to just be the flight that you come up to. Yeah. And see... Now we're still poor, but we have at least the start of the second floor. But at least that, that gives the kids their own space, even though it's unfinished, ugly space. So I'll just, it's in, it's a work in progress, you guys, it's a work in progress. I know I'm a piece of work, but now I'm a work in progress. Now everyone's gonna be like in the comments, like I don't wanna watch you build actually, that was stressful. It's a work in progress. A work in progress. Yeah, we can't do anything else, which is very sad right now, but I'm gonna get a little a couple days of work done and then we're gonna finish those house renovations. Let me put the baby away. Okay, um, yeah, the house is a wreck. Don't pay attention to it, just ignore it for now. Um, we're gonna just get a couple things done and then we're gonna finish the house, you know? I, sh I should've waited, should've noticed that there was a patch here of red wood still. 
I think there was one. Oh my god, there's old tile still in here too. A work in progress. I like that tile better. Oh my god, am I fucking things up? Okay, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, it's in progress. It's a work in progress. What I want to do next is um, finish the bedrooms up here. I want to uh, trick this out, get bathroom up here, and then expand out here to have a oh my god, a proper um, master bedroom again. Oh, you know, I might sell this because we just bought that for Grizabella. I came in like, okay, yeah, we're just going to redo the house and it's going to be smooth and real quick. I didn't, I didn't really ex like expect or imagine that we weren't going to have enough money to like properly redo the house and that I was going to go so off budget. It's been a bit of a chaotic build episode so far. So I got a tiny bit more money from that. I was thinking of selling these big wind chimes because that'd get us some money too. And it's not going to like take down Grizabella's desires um and it's just like we're in a moment of desperation so i'm clearing out some of the extra art pieces that could get us some extra spending money um i might go ahead how much could this give me no not very much okay 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 everything's fine we don't have to panic it'll be fine it'll be fine it'll be fine it's fine everything is fine we're leaving the backyard as is for now but i took away i took away the fence so really i just opened us up even more to vulnerabilities and i just want to be able to finish the upstairs to where it's like more completed because it feels bad uh, not having it more completed for now i'm just gonna throw the windows that we have had up here and then i'll worry more about that later Man, I thought we were richer than this. Let me tell you, you guys, I thought we were richer. What is the cheapest kids wallpaper we can get? $4 yellow wallpaper. That's what you guys are getting. And you guys should have carpet too, so you don't hurt your little child's knees. Ugh. Do we have like plain, just yellow? Ew, that is not Capricorn. Okay, we'll just leave it as is. Okay, okay, it's still a work in progress. Do not consider this the finished thing at all yet. Just give me some time. Give me some time, please. I just need a little time. Um, we had a couple of extra lamps downstairs. Let me take those upstairs for now to save us some money. Here's Seth's room in progress. <laughs> he has one neon light. Work in progress. This is like a studio room right now, but since we don't have the means to like have a studio, let's make this the master bedroom and let's move the dance bars out into the main area and the piano. What is that blue? Man, did I fuck things up? What is that blue? Whoa. Wow, okay. Let's do that. I don't know what was going wrong there. I'm worried. I'm definitely worried about uh, the, the health, the health of our save file as we continue through the generations. The Sims isn't known for its like um, stellar game health, the further you get into your families, um, glitches will definitely occur. So I'm a little scared, but we'll see how it goes. Man, there is just not a good place to put this damn piano. Um, let's try... You know, I'm feeling less worried about this now too, as I'm like kind of rearranging. I kind of just needed to work a little bit with the furniture that we already had. And it's working out okay. It's not that bad. The, we can move the litter box out of the way. Let's move the litter box into... No, let's move it upstairs, you know? And then... We've got this armchair. Yeah, you know, what if we just put the armchair just, like, here? So you can, like, sit and stare if you want. We all- we love to sit and stare in this house. Or there, you could sit next to the piano. It's not like they use the chair like they're supposed to anyway. No, that might block things. Hold on, that might block things. Let's do that. You can sit and wait for the for the bathroom. And then let's put this cat toy. I might put this upstairs too. Quiet and out of the way. Yeah, let's put the, the cat toy like up here. We need some lights for upstairs, but I don't know if I have enough money for that. But we might have some lights to spare. Um we don't need this actually since we're we're moving the backyard anyway i'm taking away a lot of the backyard decorations i love this angel though we're keeping the angel for sure okay we're getting this together we're getting this together i'm moving the bushes to the front for decoration and then we've got this plumeria tree as well i'm gonna bring some symmetry to the other side of the house over here and then i'm gonna get rid of our little plots 
because we don't use them. We killed the plants we put there, so why keep that stuff? Um, I'm gonna also get rid of the outdoor lights because we don't need those. And then we'll keep the bubble blower, of course, for Grizabella. The love tub I'm like torn on because it's like, it's luxurious, but like, whatever. We'll keep it as an heirloom and to remember Sierra. I'll put this nearer to the backyard. Um, I don't think we need this sense orb for now and we used it a couple times, so it's probably not even that great anymore. Okay, cleaned this up. Got that kind of dispersed. We'll work on the garage when we have more money. Um, I have a tiny bit of funds, so I think we can use that in, to decorate up here just a tiny bit and maybe get some furniture. I think what's more important is having humane spaces for the children. So I'm gonna get the kids menu open here. Seth needs some kid stuff. So I won't be able to get him good things yet because we're so poor. We have a race car bed for him right now. Let's get him the toy box to puss. <laughs> Just for now. And then um, he has a light and let's get him a chair. And then is there, there's not a light in the baby room yet. Let's get a light for the baby's room. Lamp on the half shell. <laughs> okay. And that'll do for now, I think. And then I kind of, just because I'm annoyed by it, I want to, I don't want to have wood in the bedroom. I would rather have some sort of carpet. Let's do white carpet, I guess. There we go. Okay, I'll make it better soon, I promise. And then actually, I'm remembering that I have the space poster. Put that in Seth's room. Any kid stuff I can put in Seth's room. But I don't think there's, what's sad is I don't think there's a lot of kid stuff. This is not a kid's household. This is the Capricorn generation. <laughs> almost done, you guys, almost done. Okay, okay, so. Yeah, this works for now. It's still a work in progress, but now we've got the white wood that we saw. I want to eventually put fencing out here to lock out all the assholes. Um, I've got a very small living room still, very small bedroom for the parents, but that's because we're not as rich as I thought we were yet. But eventually we'll want to have a big master bedroom. Um, upstairs we'll have the kids' rooms um, and we have a we'll have a bathroom when we have a little bit more money. We'll put bathroom up there as well. Um, on our way. We're on our way. It's in progress though. This is not going to be the final house. This is our work in progress house. And I wanted to be able to let Spencer um, quit his job, but now I don't know because we need money. But I was thinking about maybe having him do some sort of stay at home business or work on his, his skill points since his ultimate lifetime goal is golden anniversary. He just needs to be at home. He could be doing all the home stuff and we can get his creativity skill point up so that he could sell paintings or something. I don't know. I've been thinking about that. Oh my God, look, he came upstairs to dance with his son. That's so fucking cute. I cannot get over how sweet Spencer is as a father. This is just a cute family so far. Um, but anyway, my other goal today other than building the house. Okay, so my second goal, now that we've gotten through that very chaotic and probably disappointing and anticlimactic building session, and that was extreme home makeover, Capricorn who got broke in the middle edition. Um, we are now in our work in progress home, going to age up our son, our second son, Midnight, who we had last episode, um, and see what sign he is. I wanna learn more about the genetics I was thinking maybe, um, I wanted to look at Seth's personality one more time. Seth inherited. Okay, so it seems like Seth inherited his mom's playful skills and his dad's shy outgoing points. He also inherited his dad's grouchy nice points and more of his dad's. Yeah, that's so interesting. I was like thinking to myself, oh, I love that the fountain's like out here now too. Um, I was thinking to myself like, okay, maybe they just inherit some sort of numerical um, amount of their skill, like personality points or something. I don't know. So I was like, does that mean they're always going to be doomed to be like whatever the, the most full bar is of their parents? But I don't think that's going to be the case. Oh my God, these two are so cute. Okay, so let's check. I don't know how soon Midnight is going to grow up. I don't, I can't see his age meter. Seth, what are you doing? You're watching a movie. That's exactly what he wanted to do. He's just fulfilling his own goals downstairs. He wants to be friends with Boo, our very neglected cat, who is sitting on his bed right now. Uh, don't praise for using the sin bed. I don't think we want to encourage that. 
And then Spencer. Yeah, I wanted Spencer to be a stay-at-home dad, but we need some more money. We need to fundraise. Hey, Amber's here. Let's hear it for Amber, everybody. She's here to clean the house. Thank God. I think that this, this house layout is working pretty well so far. I think we're going to be able to build onto this well. I'm glad that Seth is spending some time with these cats because, oh my God, we've been neglecting these cats. You okay? I hope he's not like, oh God, is he glitched? Oh my god, we cannot let this cat die because he glitched out because I move objects on him. Let's see if I can have him, like, um, be interacted with. Did I put him in an out-of-bounds area? Hold on. I might have put him out of bounds. Let's put him in here and see if he comes back to life. Ooh! Where'd he go? Where are you? You right there? Okay, can you get up now? Oh god. Oh my god. Did we glitch this cat? Put that youngster away. Someone interact with this cat. Okay, hold on. Get that youngster back. Where's the youngster? Oh my god, this is chaos. Okay, so we're trying to see if the cat is glitched. No, Seth, come back here. Okay, he's, he's yawning. He's not frozen. A little worried he's frozen. What happens if I delete him? Let's see. <gasps> I thought it was gonna restart him. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. I thought that was gonna reset him. Oh, isn't oh my god, tell me I'm not crazy. Like someone out there who plays the Sims, tell me it's it. Isn't it a thing where when you turn move objects on and delete the sim, it just deletes them and like gives them full needs and like just resets them? Oh my god, I just deleted him. I just deleted Ash, you guys. Oh my god, did that kill Ash? Is Ash alive? Ash is still in his relationship panel. Oh my god. Oh my god, do I save? Oh my god. Oh man, I have to save. Oh my god, I hope I don't glitch this family out. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's save and go to the neighborhood view and come back. Oh my god. What an episode this has been so far. <laughs> Lord. Okay, he's still in the family view. I really am serious when I say that I thought when I deleted him, it would just reset his position. I did not think it was going to delete him out of the family. Okay, there he is. There he is. Okay, okay. I think he's okay. Okay. And his, his needs are okay too. Okay, guys, I think we're all right. Um, it was like Seth, wow, that's crazy. It's like Seth went to bed and this never happened. Okay, so the cats are okay. Where's the, where is, oh my God, I wish it would let me select Midnight. Is Midnight in his crib? Midnight's not in his crib. Who, the, oh my God, I was just saying how you get lost, how you lose Sims. There he is. Oh my God, you lose Sims in a two-story house. <laughs> Stop playing, Amber, Amber. Don't mind my baby on the ground. Oh my god. Poor thing. Jesus Christ. Amber's leaving everybody. Give it a hand. Give it a hand for Amber. Thank you, Amber, for cleaning our house today. We really appreciate it. Oh, I'm so glad you're back in the game, Ash. <laughs> it's been a scary episode here on the Astro Legacy Challenge on Simundays. Seth, our my co-host of um, Kingdom Hearts Wednesdays, Seth, had coined the term Simundays. I have to give him credit for that, but I really love that. Simundays. <laughs> wow, he just farted on his dish and then smelled it. Then now we're going to focus our attention to Grizabella going to work now that she's no longer pregnant, getting some money. We're going to grow up our son, Midnight, and we're going to hopefully get enough money to finish the renovations on the house before the end of today. That's my goal now. <laughs> Spencer, you gotta do more around the house than like just sit. Like when Grizabella's asleep, Grizabella's like, what were you doing while I was asleep? Like waiting for you to get back. Hold on, I think I hear a cat destroying something. Stop it! Ash, how many times do I have to tell you to stop destroying stuff and especially our orb? Oh my God, this, this neglected punk ass cat. Once Spencer gets done shitting, it is over for you, Ash. Stop it. Stop hurting our orb. It's not for cats to scratch. We got so many toys for you to scratch. Okay, I need to be paying attention. She's about to do a three day off stint, which sucks. 
Um, but she's she's there with her skills. We just need three friends and she needs a better mood. I think um, Spencer, he's off today, but he'll go to work for the next three days. It's only like $200 though, but I guess that could help us. I'm going, I'm like debating back and forth between just keeping Spencer here as a stay-at-home dad and the money that we can make by him going to work. But I feel like the amount of money he makes compared to the amount of money that Grizabella makes is like a fraction. Oh my god, look how stinky this father and son duo are. Absolutely rank. <laughs> Disgusting. Two boys in stink. We love to see it. <laughs> Disgusting. Okay. Um, yeah, so we need to wait till Grizabella gets back. She'll get us some money that we can then finish the bathroom up here, which will be nice. Otherwise, everyone is sleepy and fucked up. Actually, Seth, will you help? Help out around the house a little bit. Will you clean up? <laughs> We're going to put these kids to work. Oh, you know what? Maybe we should get the cats jobs. That's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do, you guys. Hold on, hold on. Put the baby away. Put the baby away. We, why, why is Spencer working when we can make Boo and Ash get jobs? Hold on, Seth, will you answer the phone, please? This guy, no. No, my mom's ex-boyfriend. My mom is not available for you to talk to, you freak. Spencer, first of all, take care of yourself. You don't need to set yourself on fire. To, you don't need to set yourself on stink fire to keep your family warm, Spencer. Take a shower. We're not going to have enough to get a vacation home anytime soon. So I think I'm going to actually lock in the want to get Seth into private school over the vacation home just because she might roll that again. And I feel like that's more feasible in the immediate future. Yes, we're quitting your job. Okay, so we're having Seth, uh, Spencer is now going to become full-time house husband. He is going to take care of the house. So he is going to be focusing on cleaning the place, helping out Amber, um, helping out with the kids and taking care of the household things while our business minded fortune Capricorn matriarch Grizabella toils away at her ballet career now that she has finished churning out children. We are going to have Seth, who is going to school starting tomorrow, start to have some friends. We're, we need him to desperately network so that we can get some friends for his mom. And then we're going to hopefully be aging up midnight very soon. I'm guessing that's going to be like tomorrow. Spencer, can you find a job for the cats in the newspaper? Yes. Find a pet job for Boo. Find a pet job for Ash. Service. Boo was, I think Boo was the one that... Grizabella wanted her to get a job in service. So I'm going to take that job. Okay. For Ash, showbiz might be cool. He could be a famous cat. So let's do that. Ash can go into showbiz. And Mama's home. She brought home Ravi, but he can just turn his little ass back around and get back in that carpool and go the fuck home. We have more money now. So I'm going to now finish up that renovation. And I am going to put a toilet in there. That's an expensive toilet, but that's okay. We're an expensive house. It's expensive to be Grizabella. I like, we have enough money now. I can, I can risk buying the, 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 I can risk buying the birthday cake. I kept wanting to say bathroom cake. Um, nope. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. Call the repairman. That birthday cake's there. Maybe he'll be able to age up before it goes bad. Oh, cool. Spencer got his cleaning skill point. He wants to reach cleaning skill four and be saved from death. <laughs> that's his knowledge secondary aspiration coming into play. Um, that's something that I thought fit um, Aquarius well. They say that like Aquarius is um, eccentric, kind of offbeat. They, um, they're supposed to be sort of the more like, I'm not like other girls kind of sign. My Mercury placement, now forgive me because I am still sort of an amateur when it comes to the more advanced astrology stuff, but my Mercury is in Aquarius. So the way that I've sort of come to understand Aquarius for myself is like the part of me that like doesn't enjoy something when it gets really popular or like refuses to check something out when it's really popular, I feel like is my Aquarius Mercury side. Um, the part of me that gets mad when people copy something that I do, I feel like that's an Aquarius Mercury thing. Um, I also think uh, my Aquarius Mercury has come out whenever I've been 
a little more of an edge lord um, <laughs> or a little more quirky and weird. Um, I feel like those are sort of the uh, stereotypes associated with Aquarius. So these are the sorts of things that we would associate with um, Seth and Spencer. It's time for Ash's first day of work as a celebrity cat. That's adorable. We have some money, so I might go ahead and, and work on their rooms a little bit. Uh, Seth is an Aquarius. He seems like a little bit of a dweeb, which I love. Um, did I finish the outside of the house too? No, I don't think I did. This house, or this episode has had like building throughout the episode, I feel like <laughs> in kind of a weird way. So I apologize for that. It's been like kind of a building heavy episode. I thought I was gonna have it all sort of like condensed in the first part of the episode, but things just never go the way I planned them to. Oh, hey, who's Elmer? Greet Elmer Sintetowski. We need friends. Okay, wait, I actually have Grizabella do it. Take a bath, see if I care. Okay, you, oh shit. Okay, she liked that. He did the down low too slow sort of situation. I wish there was an aspiration to reward that made friends easier. Maybe there is, let's check. Aspiration, rewards. Yeah, the sunglasses, does that do it? He's like, yeah, I like that. Good, I'm glad. Oh, she served the pancakes in the bathroom. I hate that, I hate that. Oh my God, we need more counter space. Oh, that's something we could buy with our money. Okay, hold on, let's do that. Let's get that shelf I wanted and let's get a new countertop. Yeah, that's better. Countertop space and shelf, we don't have enough for the shelf. Okay, whatever, fine, fine. That's fine, those things will just hang out until I get a better shelf. Fine. Grizabella's here, she's hanging out. We're working on this guy. If she puts on those sunglasses, will she make friends with him faster? Okay, she's got the sunglasses on. Here he is. Okay, let him let him poop and then and then you're gonna really win him over. She's upset that I got the new countertops. Well, you know, we can't always get what we want. Look how cool she looks with these shades on though. Look at her. Check her out. Um, chat. Oh, I do like this song. I got content claims. Like three videos in a row, I got content claimed for the simish versions of the songs on that world station we were listening to a couple episodes ago. I loved that music so much, but I'm so sad that I got content claimed like three videos in a row. Okay, we got a friend. Oh my God, that worked. Okay, I should have done this a long time ago. Okay, sweet. Made a friend. She needs two more friends. <laughs> Boo is just hanging. Spencer. Okay. He's taking a really long time. He didn't freeze doing this, did he? I'm a little worried he froze doing this. Oh, oh my God, okay. Oh my God, what is going on here? I am so nervous about glitches on this game, you guys, oh my God. Okay, we got it, we fixed it, it's totally fine. He's doing okay. Seth brought a friend home, he's doing exactly what I wanted him to. Thank you so much, Seth, for understanding the assignment. Ooh, Christy Oates. Oh my God, Christy Oates is cute. Oh, I love her. Let's chat to Christy Oates. He's bringing in his homework. Yeah, we do need to remember to do homework as well. Oh my God, Christy Oates. You look like Ramses. You look, oh, it's just Seth. If only you knew how much your new friend Christy Oates looks like your grandmother Ramses. Oh my God, how fun. Play cops and robbers together since you're so needing fun. I, one thing I'm keeping in mind as we're going forward uh, in the generations is that it's going to get more and more um, specific what we need for the next generation. And if what we've learned so far is true, that genetics play a factor into what um, sign you get, we're going to have to start looking really early for the, the signs that we want in our partner for our next generation. So all this to say, I need to be focusing on finding um, as many friends and as many potential lovers and partners as possible as we go forward. How many friends do we need? How many household friends do we need? Two, we only need two friends. Justin Bindet? Why does Justin Bindet look like Justin Cleveland? Jason! Wow, Justin Bindet. No, I'm thinking of Jason. Jason. Justin Bindet looks just like Jason, Jason Cleveland. How crazy. I really want to be able to grow up Midnight though, I'm so mad that it's taking so long. It's making the runtime of this episode way too long. Who's here? Oh, is it the carpool for Boo? Have a good day at work, Boo. I hope the service industry treats you well. Meow. Midnight's birthday's a day away. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, 
That's great, because I'm really sweating how long this episode has been. Did someone cut into the cake? Ah, just clean the shit up. Oh my god. No, it just has flies. That's it. Okay, good. Okay. Let's just waste one cake and buy another. When one cake gets tossed, another opens the door for another or something. Okay, let's bring Midnight for the cake. Everyone is here so we can all appreciate Midnight's birthday. I'm so excited, but we got a lot done. And I'm very excited about this. It Boo is away at work, but it's okay. And Grizabella's like, not another birthday. Oh my God. Here they come. Little Midnight in her father's arms. The displaced... Items, everything gone to shit and flies everywhere as we bring him down. Amazing. The environment score just plummeting. Beautiful stuff. Oh, Christy's here. Love that Christy's getting a view in this messy ass kitchen. Three cheers for your birthday midnight. Three cheers for you. Okay, there he goes. Oh, he's bald. That's the first thing I'm noticing. He's bald. Let's see. Moment of truth. Oh, he's a Virgo. Whoa! Oh my god, whoa! Oh my god! Okay, what does this mean? What does this mean? Okay, okay, okay. Let's change it. Let's look at Midnight's appearance real quick. Whoa! Okay, so my best guess is it looks like Midnight inherited Grizabella's full neat points, but also inherited more of his father's nice points. Let's see. He's got brown hair, blue eyes, and a nice complexion. Oh my God, what a cutie. Let's give him a little a little hat too, a little froggy hat. Oh my God, what a cutie. I, mm, I might be team midnight, you guys. Oh my God. <gasps> Look at him. Oh my God, he's so cute. Okay, midnight has been born. A lot of active points. Okay, so neither of them have a lot of active points. That makes me think there's a, there's a degree of randomness. Wow, that is so interesting. So... With this, with this episode, we now know we've got Grizabella, who was a Capricorn, who was just adopted. So that was just randomized. She, along with Spencer, who was an Aquarius and had the points distribution, as you can see, gave birth to Seth, also an Aquarius. Similar kind of point distribution as some, oh, God damn it, as some of the parents. Um, Jesus, why now? El Tiguero. The grand champion vermin chaser from south of Pleasant View has thrown down his gauntlet, the bane to vermin everywhere, and challenges Boo to the 50 meter skunk chase at this year's Kitty Catcher's Ball. El Tiguero is a big name among top vermin chasers and is the only cat to ever break the four minute skunk chase barrier. Everyone who is anyone among vermin chasers will be there. Mincy the Meaty, Scruff Rough and Tough, and Simone LaFancy are all on the guest list. It's the perfect chance for an up-and-coming vermin chaser such as Boo to make a name for herself. Is Boo up for the challenge? Of course. Okay. If skunk chasing were an art form, Boo would be featured in a museum. The execution of her chase is flawless. Boo keeps pace, times her moves perfectly, and manages to wrangle the skunk without being sprayed in record-breaking time. Intimidated by Boo's unprecedented performance, El Tiguero sluggishly uh, chases the skunk, which results in a subpar time and one stinky El Tiguero. El Tiguero? <laughs> Shamed, El Tiguero announces his retirement. Boo's boss announces it's time for Boo to be promoted to therapy cat. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, good job, Boo. Claps in the chat for Boo. Um, Boo got a promotion. Yay, we unlocked the panda coat marking for cats. That's cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I'm desperately over time right now. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Sim Mondays. Um, we will see you next Monday. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to watch the building process, if you prefer a speed build, or if you would rather me just skip ahead and give you a tour of the like before and after style. Um, I would love to know what you have to say about that. Um, and also let me know what you think about the kids' genetics and what we learned today. Um, and then I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye! Oh my God. Midnight is my favorite child so far. I'm so sorry, Seth. Let me know also if you are team Seth or team Midnight.